up, ladies and gents? It's your boy Crimson Vision here, back at you with another kind of tutorial video. Stand by. <laughs> A tutorial video, um, basically trying to show you how to get stretch resolution and kind of why I like it. So first off, let me show you how to get stretch res, show you what it looks like in game, and I'll show you kind of why I like it. Let's get into the video. chat so what you're gonna do is you want to one off you want to start off at your desktop correct so basically you're gonna push Windows button R and before you do that AMD radio and settings is what I'm teaching you if you have NVIDIA there's gonna be other videos but AMD graphics cards are very hard to come by uh, stretch resolution video so I'm just gonna show you kind of how I do it so first off what you're gonna do is you're gonna push Windows R I'm going to go to app data. You're going to click back one. Maybe it might not be, but you're going to go to app data. You're going to go to local. You're going to scroll down until you find Fortnite game. Not Epic Games Launcher, but just Fortnite game. It should be right here. Double click. Go to saved. Config. Windows client. And then here is the main file we're going to be messing with. So first off, you want to right click. Go down to properties. And make sure read only is off before you start basically you just want to hover over it when I game saved config windows client okay so you're gonna make sure read only is off by right clicking I think so yep right clicking on that so you're gonna right click on properties and then make sure read only is off and then you're gonna right click again but go to edit and then you're going to do your resolutions. Um, there's a bunch of different resolutions. Um, you got 1600 by 1080. It's an okay re resolution. It's pretty stretched, but not completely noticeable. It helps with frame rate, and it gives you about a five and a half um, vertical distance, like stories, which I think a regular 1920 by 1080 or higher resolution monitor gives you about four ish. Um, if you up it a little bit, it's going to be 1440 by 1080. I'm going to be putting all these on screen. Um, you've got 1600 by 1080. you got 1440 by 1080. And one of my personal favorites, not a people, many people like it. It's really, really squished. But it's one of my personal favorites is 1220 by 1080. Um, what you're going to want to do is you go to, you're going to scroll down until you find uh, desired screen width. No, no, no resolution size you're going to change it to 1220 of course i've got it 1220 you're going to change the last user confirmed resolution size to 1220 or whatever your resolution you're going to use is and then you're going to use that you're going to change this to 1220 the this desired screen width to 1220 by 1080 and then this to 1220 by 1080 okay so that's it so, and then you're going to push file, save, close it, then we're all set, correct? So now you're going to push X on that, we won't be needing this anymore. Right click, go to AMD Radeon settings, you're going to go to display, and you're going to create one, and you're going to pick the, the one display if you only have one display, and if you have two monitors like I do, you're going to click display one or whatever you play on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna change this to 1440 by 1080. I already have one. We're just gonna keep it like that, or whatever you want to do. And let's do let's do something random just to kind of demonstrate. Okay. And then like that. And then you're gonna not change that. And then you see where it says timing display. You're gonna change that as well. And then that's it. And you should be good. And you're gonna push save. But I'm not going to because, of course, um, then you're just going to push X and then you're going to right click again, go to display settings. And then now it should be in your settings, wherever um, you're going to find it. Um, here's mine is uh, 1220 by 1080. It's going to stretch and we're going to keep the changes. And now it's going to look weird, but if you have two monitors, then it's, it's okay. And then you can always uh, change it all the time. That's what I usually did before I have two monitors. 
you're going to go to Fortnite. Now you should be all set. Um, you're going to want to leave that. And another issue a lot of people had I want to show y'all is whenever you do it, you're, you might have to mess around with the HDMI scaling. You might have to uh, you might have to go it to one, a zero and then put it back to one, just depending on how your computer is. But uh, yeah, you just go all the way to zero or one. And if it has the black bars on it, you're going to click full panel. We'll show that. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. But uh, see, and if it's messing up, and if it have black bars on the side, you're going to go to display. And you see this full panel? You're always going to want to have that full panel. So, yeah. So, we're going to go to Battle Royale full screen, of course. And this is what it looks like. And not all of them are going to look this blurry. But here are the tips for it. We're going to load into a playground game, as I'll tell y'all. So, the three things is the viewer distance up and down. Your person's a little bit smaller. You can see more to the right and left. Um, it's easier to hit shots, in my opinion. The gravity feels better. I mean, there's just a lot of things, but one of the main things people do this for is FPS. They have higher FPS. Um, but, I mean, it just feels perfect to me. And it just makes the game feel so clean. Um, yeah, we're going to drop just somewhere real quick. I mean, the map looks cleaner to me. You can really get into some details here. Like, if you're saying, well, I'm going to land exactly there. You don't just put it on the lake. You can just kind of... And I mean, this, and like you can kind of see how it's distorted. This, like I said, this isn't the best one. I recommend 1440 by 1080. I'm going to be putting all those in the description. Probably not on screen, just in the description. It's going to be 1440 by 1080. You can try all of them out. It might take a few to see what you like the best. But uh, this is the one I like the best um, so far. I might switch back to 1440 just for viewers' sake, um, for my streams and stuff. But, you know, I don't know. Um... Make sure to like, leave a like on this video if you liked it and if it helped you out. Comment it if it helped you or any issues. I'll try to get to them and kind of explain it to you if I possibly can. Um, help each other out in the comment section if Timmy, the Bob Builder, had a problem. Bob the Builder, you know, you help him out. Say, you just got to do that. So I don't have to be doing all that. I mean, I'll do it in a heartbeat. But, you know, y'all are a loving community. Y'all can help each other out, okay? Um, make sure to check on my streams. I pretty much stream every day. The only reason it's lagging is because they didn't update, but I stream pretty much every day. Um, I do the new tournaments. I do scrims. I'm not the best player by any means, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully this helps you get stretched dressed like liquidy chappy boy. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. Double peace.